In this example, we want to approximate the definite integral of sine x over x with an error less than 0 0.0001, okay? So in the box here, we have uh, the power series for sine x, okay? And this is valid for all x, okay? So in our integral, we have sine x divided by x, okay? So what we can do is we can use the series. We can replace the, the sine x uh, with the series and then div divide by x, okay? All right, so we have, okay, so this is going to be equal to, okay, we want to express this as a, as a series. Okay, so we're gonna have minus one to the n times x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 factorial. And then we have x here, okay? So we can bring the x into the series, into the summation, because um, it doesn't depend on n, okay? And then from here, okay, we get, okay, so this, this is going to be equal to minus 1 to the n times, we can bring the x up, okay? So in other words, we have x to the n plus 1 times x to the negative 1, all divided by 2n plus 1 factorial, okay? And then this is equal to, okay, so that means sine x over x is equivalent to the series of minus one to the n times uh, x to the two n, okay? Because we have x two n plus one and then x to the minus one. So that works out to be x to the two n divided by two n plus one factorial, okay? So now we can go ahead and take the integral of this. Okay, so. Okay, so we're going to integrate these uh, the series, okay, for sine x over x. Okay, integrate this with respect to x, okay. All right, so now we get, okay, so integrating this, Okay, we're going to get, oh, I forgot the series there. Let me erase that. Let me do that again. So this is, definitely needs to have the sum there. So this is going to be minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n divided by 2n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so now we're going to integrate this. Okay, let's go down here. integrate this with respect to x, so we're going to get minus 1 to the n, that is just a constant, and we have x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 factorial times 2n plus 1. Okay, and then we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 1. All right, so plugging in the bounds, okay, we're going to get a series from zero to infinity of minus one to the n, we plug in, we plug x into one, or sorry, plug, yeah, plug one into x and you get you get one to the two n plus one, which is just one, and then divide by two n plus one factorial, divided by two n plus one, okay? And then plugging in zero, uh, plugging in zero for x, we get zero. So this, okay, this is the, um, the generator for our solution, okay? All right, so now we need to know, uh, we need to determine the, uh, we need to find the number of terms, okay? All right, so this, okay, so this is a alternating series. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to find. Find the number of terms um, for our uh, for the desired accuracy. Okay, in this case, we're given an error. Okay, we want to where where we want to make sure the error is less than. Point zero 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 one. Okay, so we can use the the nth plus. We can bound the nth plus one term uh, for this series. Okay? We're using the right, because this is based on the Turing series. Okay, so the nth term for this Turing series is one over. 2n plus 1 factorial times 2n plus 1. Okay. All right, so that means the nth plus 1 term is going to be 1 over, okay, replace n with n plus 1, and we get 2n plus 3, okay, factorial times 2n plus 3. Okay, so we replace n with n plus one. We don't add. We don't. You don't add the one to the two n plus one. Okay, because you want the next term. Okay, so just be careful of that. Okay. So we want the nth plus one term to be less than 0 0.0001. Okay. Pen is swearing out. Okay, so now we get one over two n plus three factorial times two n plus three, and we want this to be less than point zero 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 one. So, okay, we can do this using your calculator. Okay, so this is going to be um, n this is going to tell us that n must be bigger or equal to 2. Okay. So that means we need at least three terms. Okay. Because we're starting from 0. Okay. So 0, 1, 2. Okay. So our solution. Okay. So we're going to have the solution from 0 to 2 of. So going back up here. Okay, going to this series here, okay. It's going to be minus one to the n divided by two n plus one factorial times two n plus one. Okay, and this will give us okay zero point nine four six one approximately so assuming that we um, rounding our answer to four decimal places okay okay so that is our solution okay all right so it's a very nice application uh, for these series okay and this this uh, these series can also be used for solving differential equations okay in a similar way okay all right, so again, that is our solution, 0.9461 for this integral uh, with an error less than 0 0.0001.